A closer look at these CAM profiles helps to illustrate what's happening behind the scenes. The conveyor axis, axis number two, uses a feed CAM profile to index the conveyor for one-fourth of its entire rotation. For the rest of the profile, even though the CAM itself is rotating, the servo motor does not move. This is because the profile has already reached 100% of its stroke setting. The nozzle axis, axis number three, uses a reciprocal CAM profile to move the nozzle down into the carton and then back up again. This process begins shortly after the conveyor has finished its index. The filling piston axis, axis number four, also uses a reciprocal CAM to pull the piston, drawing fluid into its chamber, and then push the fluid into the carton at the same time the nozzle axis moves up. Using CAM profiles in the application helps to control the machine automatically from a single command via SSCNet3. Not only does this simplify the programming, but it also provides trouble-free operation. Sealing begins with a DP SFCS command from the structured ladder program in the PLC, which calls the motion program. Here, you can see the DP SFCS command calling motion program number 70. Condition requirements include a filling complete signal and a sealing station sensor on signal. The filling application solution comes complete with parameter settings and ladder programming code for setting up a temperature channel with the Q64TCTT. This code also provides a convenient template for any other type of temperature control and can be applied in a variety of different applications. Several HMI screens have been created to interface with this application solution as it pertains to the PACML standards. Included as part of the material for the solution are three main screens, one for producing mode to monitor the PACML states, another screen for maintenance mode to focus on some of the key operation states, and a third manual mode screen for interfacing with the application. Additional information is included on the Mitsubishi Electric PACML implementation as part of the filling solution download from MEAU.com. The robot option at the end of the filling line has been provided as an option to remove containers from the filling line. This vertically articulated IQ platform robot integrates nicely with the PLC in motion controller. A template for setting up the parameter settings for memory sharing is included in the detailed application note, along with a description of some of the common programming commands in RT Toolbox 2. An illustration of the teaching pendant, the R32TB, is also shown here as well as some of the screenshots for the RT Toolbox 2 software. The GT1555 graphic operation terminal complements the filling application with easy to configure user screens for operator control. The screen on the left illustrates how an operator can interact directly with the machine during initial setup. These settings are directly written to a structured text PLC program to initialize or reinitialize variables such as the cartons per hour, cam stroke amounts, the heating temperature, etc. Likewise, a screen is included to start and stop the machine's operation, reset the system, perform homing, and to monitor for errors. In summary, the filling solution provided by Mitsubishi Electric highlights three key features that boost productivity and bring significant advantages and benefits to the end user. The complete IQ platform solution integrates a PLC, motion controller, and robot CPU for reduced total cost of ownership and improved overall equipment effectiveness. The automatic camming for the filling process keeps the system in sync, as well as ensures clean operation for reduced waste material. Compliance with PACML provides a convenient template for packaging manufacturers in the food and beverage industry. As with any other application solution from Mitsubishi Electric, several other products can be assembled to produce similar results. Alternative product solutions for a filling application include the Q170 MCPU standalone motion controller for control of up to 16 axes with a built-in PLC and mark detection capability. This non-rack-based SSCNet3 solution is a good choice for applications where a robot isn't needed to share information with the rest of the system. For control without camming, the Q-Series' QD75MH positioning controllers also utilize an SSCNet3 servo network for advanced point table control, servo parameter monitoring, 
and for multi-axis operations. Also, as an alternative to relying on photoelectric sensors to determine product placement, an absolute encoder connection can be added to the system for more intelligent control. For further information on the Mitsubishi Electric solution for filling machines, material can be found in five separate components, a double-page quick reference guide, a detailed application note, complete programming files, images and movies, and this presentation. All of this material is available on the MEAU website at www.meau.com. Just click on the Industry Solutions link to find your way to the material. And that brings me to the end of this Application Solutions webinar. I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation today.